Oh, as soon as it hit the water. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Come on. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Captain Carrie here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on a canoe today. It's a little, it's a little shaky. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We're out here. This is the first time I've been fishing this canoe here, but I'm here with Tanner, Dolphin on Fishing. What's up, y'all? And he comes out here a lot in this little thing, and it just looks pretty fun. So I figured I'd come join along. We've got some sheep's head rigs. We might do a little flounder fishing today, but we're pulling up on a dock right now. It's flat, calm conditions. The, uh, the no seams are really bad right now, so we're trying to get out of them. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of breeze so they'll get blown away, but we're going to get to fishing here. Y'all, look at that current. You already know. That fancy anchor down on right yeah, right yeah. Now. This Dang. is our fancy, dancy anchor here. Just a big stone with some paracord wrapped around. <laughs> but y'all know, we got the crabs. Got to have the crabs. Just met a nice gentleman over here. I got his number, so uh, he, he might help us out and get some more. But we're gonna get to fishing, have some fun. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get started here. If y'all watch the channel, y'all know I like. Just a little simple knocker rig there. This is actually one I'll owner. I forgot my Gamakatsu hooks today, and this is what Tanner has. We've got 25 pound four carbon liter, using a 3000 pin battle with a medium light setup here. Big filler crab. We're just gonna leave the claw and everything on. Honestly, don't think it makes too much of a difference. Maybe if they're finicky, I'll take them claws off. I've got a small weight on there right now. We might have to go to a heavier weight. We'll just have to see. Have to see how instantaneous that bite is. Yeah. As y'all can see, the mouth of this river that we're fishing here, we got a good falling tide, so all this water is just being dumped out of here. We also had a heavy rain last night as well, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect the fishing. So we've moved out here a little bit further. We've got a bunch of, what is this, little concrete structures, I guess, to help. Protect I the bank. They were tires until I pulled up on it. You know, I kind of did too. But it looks like a good area. Flat calm out here. Don't tell, tell me I'm, I'm already getting a bite. I, I'm on. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, there ain't no net in this kayak. Yeah. You gotta eat them. That's a good fish. Literally, first cast. <laughs> It's a dang good fish too. Look at that. And the canoe. Come here, fish. I'm letting you go. But I am coming back to get you tomorrow, I promise. God. He is kicking my freaking watch watch the line. He is kicking my tail right now. Man. Get get in here. That's a fat one. Alright, y'all. First little sheep's head right there. Probably about a 17, yeah. maybe 17, 18 inch sheep to the fort. Beautiful fish. We're not keeping any today. Well, actually that guy I told y'all about earlier, he wanted some, but we don't have an ice chest to keep them cool. So maybe before we leave, we'll try and keep a few if we catch some more. Get on out of here. Let's go. Good start. Didn't even have time to set up or anything. I mean, we're not, ideally placed here there he is come on <laughs> <What'd> you... <laughs> come on another nice another nice fish get in a boat Get some slack. I ain't used to this tight, tight fishing. It's all good though. This is, this is fun. It's like a knife bite. <laughs> you know, it makes it a little more challenging. Would you chill out? Ooh. Ah! 
Get him up, baby. Nice. Tied the hook back on and got him, got after him. Let's see. That was a nice little sheep. Yeah. That's what that last sheep did to that owner hook right there. Not saying these are bad hooks, but the Gamakatsu octopus hooks are a little bit stronger and very rarely will that happen. That's basically a, that's a little more than a circle hook now. So we're not, we're not gonna use this. We'll throw this in the canoe and tie us on another one. So as I said before, I like using a loop knot when I tie to these hooks, especially for sheep's head fishing, because it just gives it more action and play. So we're just gonna start with a simple loop, just like that. And we're gonna put that end of that line through the eye. It's gonna look something similar to that. And then we're just gonna twist two or three times. One, two, three. And then we'll put that through both those loops that we have. And then we're gonna pull tight. And you can also adjust how far away you want your your knot to be from the eye of the hook as well. Just pull tight, and there you go. Mm. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I would give you a high five, but I don't know what's going on right now. The trolling motor's on. <laughs> oh, I was like, why are we spinning in circles right now? <laughs> Get some sheep, okay, there we go. Oh, he didn't even get to finish his meal. He still got his crab? Yeah. So, while we were dealing with that fish, Tanner just got his line stuck in the prop of our trolling motor. So hopefully we'll be able to make it back to the launch because it's a pretty good haul to have to paddle if we, we <laughs> if we do have to paddle. So hopefully that's not gonna happen. It's all three foot of my leader. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, I'll just, just three foot of the leaders in the prop of the trolling motor. No, <laughs> no big deal. You see how he does me though. He's, He's over here close to the fishing spot. I'm having to chunk it like 20 feet to get over there. This is how I'm definitely going to do you for tournament fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're on my boat. Poor guys over here. We seen them at the launch earlier. They're like, all right, we got this, we got this. Oh, crap, we forgot the bait. And I think they were going sheep fishing. Like, how, that's the one thing that you have to have. How do you forget that? Come on. <laughs> uh, I knew I should have brought my heavy stick. I just eat these jokers in the in the canoe. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. Ooh. <laughs> Did you see that? Literally it just hit the water and he smacked it. Put it right in front of the face. Eat! <laughs> he was not playing around. He was on it. Good eating size fish there. I love these fish so much. They're so fun, dude. I mean, top, this is probably my favorite inshore fish to catch, if I had to say. All right, y'all, we're trying something here. We are going to put this anchor inside of one of these little concrete things, and then we're going to get off. See if I can knock a sheep head out. Okay, so it's not very deep in there. This is way smarter than why why <laughs> like hey, this is a <laughs> this is a better idea. Ooh! Ooh! That looked like a good one. See, Tanner did something I didn't know about. He chummed the water up over here and got him going. That's a dang good one. Got that powder right there and scraped some barnacles. Hey, you know what? Let's do that. Let's all let's throw them inside, and that way, when I come back on my charter tomorrow, they'll be literally like fish in a barrel. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. He went out. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, he freaking cracking me up. <laughs> mm. 
Mm hmm. <laughs> you better walk down. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's dangerous fishing here. Get up here. He ain't pulling no drag. Come on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Let's loosen the drag just a little bit. It's hard to beat. We gotta get a picture. That's a fat one, dude. That's a fat this one. This is epic. Oh, I mean, this this is really fun. I mean, do we do we call this land-based fishing? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's that's definitely probably a 19-inch sheep right there. Got off the canoe, started walking on these little concrete structures here. Got like some gold flakes on them. Dude, it's so pretty when they do that. Those little specks. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. I've never noticed that. Super cool fish right here. We're gonna get a quick picture and we'll let him go. We're gonna let this sheep go right here. We actually did discover there is a hole that can go in and out of these little concrete things. So he'll be able to get out, hopefully. If not, we'll come back and get him. We'll show y'all the old, the old chumming trick. If you're not very familiar with sheephead fishing get your paddle scrape the water up get it fired up all these barnacles and mussels growing on these things this is what they're here eating on so technically we don't even have to use crabs we could scrape some of these barnacles off and I may actually do that that way we're not wasting our good crabs it's not very often you can easily access the location and get some of this bait that growth man it's, it's been here yep. a while that stuff right there oh yeah that's a good bait right there perfect oh come on tanner don't let him whoop you that's a good fish what is it that's the Hold up! Is that, is that the one I lost? That's a good one. Barely hooked. Let's see if you can just grab him. Nice. Open it. Let me see your mouth real quick. <laughs> I was making sure that ain't the one I lost. I don't see my hook in there. All right, guys. Great day out here. Caught plenty of sheep's head, released every single one of them. Plenty of 19 inches. I think Tanner probably caught one, maybe over 20 inches. Maybe. A few black drum. Had a great time out here. It's a little bit different than being on a boat. Not gonna lie, but it's fun. But, uh, a lot different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If y'all would like to get in on some of this action, maybe not on a canoe, but on a boat, y'all check out the link in the description below. You can get on there and go to the Fish and Chaos app, book a charter with me come out here and get on some of the sheep's head action but if not y'all just continue to watch the videos i do appreciate y'all give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video y'all check out my social medias facebook tiktok all that good jazz and until next time see you back out on the water hey hey if they really want to go on the canoe you can borrow it for the day i like that <laughs> okay one person only if you really want to book a charter on the canoe <laughs> peace out y'all